Good morning, kids. We are at the very end of our New City Catechism, and we're in the New Testament, and we are talking about some of the sacraments. The two things that Jesus commanded that we do as a New Testament church to remember him. And one of them is baptism. And we ask the question, is baptism with water the washing away of sin itself? And we said, no, only the blood of Christ can cleanse us from sin. And we did a really fun illustration downstairs in Children's Church. And I wanted to make sure that everyone had a chance to see it either again or for the first time, especially for the big kids who have the privilege and honor of staying in the worship service during that time. So we're going to look at an illustration to see whether baptism washes away sin. So I brought with me a whiteboard and a permanent marker. Now, this is a big no-no, right? You would never write on a whiteboard with permanent marker because it will stain it. So I am writing right on this whiteboard with permanent marker and I wrote the word sin. Now you can see that the word sin is stained onto this whiteboard, but we are gonna try to see if we can wash it off with some water. And I brought some paper towels to see if we can scrub it really hard, okay? So let me get it really wet. Really, 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 really wet. So we're dripping wet, okay. Now it's really dripping wet. And then I am gonna to try to wash it off. I'm gonna to try to wipe it and wipe it and wipe it and wipe it. And you can see that it's definitely wet. So I wasn't just making that up. It's really, 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 really wet. It's like raining in here. But water doesn't wash away our sin. We do use water as a symbol because water washes away dirt and it washes away, we use water and soap to wash away germs but it does not wash away sin. It just doesn't do it. But I brought something else that represents what does. It's not what actually does, but it represents it. Remember, this is just a symbol here. This is a red marker. I'm gonna take that red marker and I'm gonna color over the whole word here, all over this. I'm gonna cover it. I'm gonna cover that sin with this red. And in a second, I'm gonna tell you what this red means. Let's cover all the way over with it, okay. So now you can see that word sin that was permanently on there is completely covered. Now, what do you think? You think it'll come off? Here we go. Look at that. Does it come off? It is completely gone, completely washed away. And you know what that red represents? It represents the blood of Jesus. Because even though we use water in baptism because it does symbolize a lot of times in our life. We wash our hands in water, bodies in water, our hair in water. We use soap and water. It does not wash away sin. You know what the Bible tells us washes away sin? When we look in Hebrews, it talks about a perfect high priest. That's Jesus. And he is comes as the more perfect high priest, more than any of the ones that came before him. And they used to shed the blood of goats and lambs to, for the sacrifice of their sins. But Jesus came and it and says, Indeed, under the law, almost everything is purified with blood. And without the shedding of blood, there's no forgiveness of sins. And do you know who shed their blood to cover and not just cover, but take away our sins? Jesus did. And that's what he did when he sacrificed his life on the cross for us so that we could live forever. Thanks be to God. I'll see you guys next week.